An online introduction to computer science. Online classes are now taught by many top universities and offer everything from computer programming to the science of cooking. Many classes are either free or inexpensive and are updated more quickly than regular college curricula. That's important to the millions of students who learn technical and other skills from Lynda.com. Co-founder Linda Weinman spoke to VOA via Skype. We, do is we can come to market very quickly and we teach transient skills. So a lot of software is changing constantly or new software is being invented. And those sorts of things can't easily make them to make their way into college curriculum. Another difference, instead of the professor lecturing to students, then do research, study and homework alone, online classes flip that around, according to student and blogger John Haber, who said in a Skype interview, he's taking enough online classes to earn a four-year college degree in just one year. They're watching the lectures at home uh, as homework, recorded lectures, and then when they get to class, they're having more active discussions or interactions with the teachers or working on projects. Experts say the new technology will have a major impact on colleges and some predict future classes may be a blend of online lectures and professors helping students work through difficult problems in person. And we're back with Jim Randall. Jim do you think online education is a game changer for higher education? It certainly could be. I mean, we've seen digital change journalism, publishing, music, uh, retail. I mean, it has, it has made huge changes in these important parts of the economy. There's no reason to think that it couldn't have some kind of impact on higher education. The other thing that's actually kind of interesting is traditionally the professor stands in front of the class and gives a lecture and everybody's gathered together and then they go separately to their, their rooms, to the library, whatever, and they work individually. Here, you can uh, watch the lecture online at your convenience, and then people gather together and talk to the professor because they're stuck on problem six, or they want to do the lab, or they've got a question about something. So it kind of turns the, the, the education model on its head. Okay, and what do you think the future classroom would look like? I suspect uh, or what people tell me that I've interviewed, is that it's likely to be a blend of traditional um, classes as well as online tools. And the, some of these uh, experiments are ending up with new and more interesting ways of teaching, and that's, that's in its infancy. We're likely to see different ways of teaching, and they're going to try things out. Either they work, some will work, some will not, and obviously the ones that work, hopefully, will propagate. Well, thank you so much for joining us. View is Jim Randell. Coming up, our reporter talks with the author of world-famous novels about Afghanistan. You're watching.